Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT down the mighty explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, yeah. if it finally happened. They sold Vince McMahon sold the WWE. No. Did you hear about this? Uh, actually, I did not know. Uh to the, the company, Saudis? No. The company that owns the UFC owns them. So now the company the UFC Dana? And, uh it's Endeavor. Endeavor. So okay. Endeavor owns now the USC, UFC and WWE. Oh, no. And, uh, Isn't that a monopoly? I mean, they're two different industries. One's real, one's not. One's entertainment, one's actual and fighting. Still, and now and Dana, Dana, Dana uh, White's slap fight is going to be on there, too. They're going to have... Oh. Dude, you know what I would watch? That, that, Combo that, pay-per-views that. where they have wrestling and UFC and slap fighting all on one pay-per-view. I would watch that. I don't know how I feel about this. Honestly. In general? Yeah. Well, I got some more to talk about, but tell me about that first. I don't know, because the slap fighting thing, I think, is just, like, idiotic. And, oh, it's, and that is the dumbest like, shit on the planet. It's, like, dangerous and just, like, a CTE uh, lawsuit waiting. Breeding ground. Oh, they sign waivers. Um, I'm sure, but, you know. <laughs> I, I was stupid. <laughs> Officer, I was stupid. I mean, um, they just want money. Yeah. At the cost but, of like their brain. Yeah. Either way, I think that's crazy. I, I don't know. I just don't feel like he necessarily has like the best interest of the people. Like neither did Vince McMahon, I guess, to some degree. But... Well, but Dana White doesn't run Endeavor. They said what they said. Well, actually, okay, here's the part I'll get to. So Vince McMahon quit the WWF. Sure. He forced his way back onto the board of the directors because he was the prime he's the he was the majority shareholder of the company. Yeah. And then, so the whole thing was like, he wasn't, he wasn't working at the company anymore because he had this sexual scandal and yada, yada, yada. The first thing that happens when they bought him, he took back over. He, so he's back working for the company. He's back doing everything after they had said oh. forever that he wasn't going to do that. <laughs> and what they said was they were going to keep him separate. Dana Wright's going to run UFC. Vince McMahon's going to run WWE. The people are going to run. It's, they're going to be run as two separate companies. Yeah. Uh, $21 billion like conglomerate now and uh but it's uh yeah people were not very happy about that like what's what's other people's consensus what's why how do you feel about it as a person who watches wrestling what do you think Uh, is going to be the uh the change in the content i think the fact i think the fact that vince mcmahon's coming back it's going to be terrible because he he's way past his like Oh, yeah, he's old. like, well, what happened was he was doing all this wild crap, like fired a bunch of people, whatever. Yeah. And then uh, he, when he left, it's, uh, you felt- they, he, he, the guy brought all a bunch of those people back. Like Triple H, start- Triple H uh, was figureheading. For yeah. A and while. he started to like write the ship and things. And like, and immediately it's already starting to ship. Like, it's going to like, it's going to be just wild, dude. It's it, Vince McMahon now has a, uh, uh, what's the guy from a uh, Gomez Adams mustache. He has the he has the just on the lip mustache, <laughs> like not even a full mustache. It's like when you when you trim the part up by your nose and you just have like a worm. And he di- he's dying his hair jet black, so his hair is jet black, and he's a jet black mustache. And the dude is like eighty. He looks fucking just idiotic. <laughs> Jonas hitting hitting Vinny Mac with the ad homonyms. No, it's cool. <laughs> I guess you know you can maybe you can change it up if you get some bad press. He, yeah, what it, I'm trying to think how somebody like well it, and like and that's I guess what it is is people are talking about it right. Yeah. They said the stock went up and Vince McMahon made like two hundred million dollars in one day because yep. the stock went up afterwards. Like that dude, he's set for life, that. man. He owns enough of that stock that. Ain't gonna, he doesn't. He all he cares about is him and his money, dude. He doesn't care. And he's making it, and plus now he's back on the payroll. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so I mean, he he made out like a bandit at the expense of everybody else, and he don't care. Can't stop working. Man. I mean, if good, I was making as much money as that in a day, I'd find it hard to stop working too. Well, he Are made it just because of the stock, but I don't know how much his salary is. But yeah, dude, he um, I mean. Good for him. Yeah. If I owned a, if I had the majority control of a company and I could make make hundreds of millions of dollars, I would probably want to do it too. Yeah, like I said, until 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 the wheels fall off, man. I'm not mad at it. Like I said, I'm just concerned that the company endeavored uh, participates in a lot of uh 
things that don't really take like you like I don't know how I would feel owning a boxing league or a MMA. I'd be like, okay, so I'm just like letting guys essentially hurt themselves. In yeah, the ring. and wrestling has a has a stigma on that too. Like people, it, it they, does not as bad as UFC or slap fighting. Yeah, I'm sure. and then yeah. like UFC is like where I kind of like I draw the line. You know, it's regulated to some degree. Slap fighting is just like, what are you doing? All they do, <laughs> oh, the only regulation they have in slap fighting is you can't lift your foot to get extra leverage, and they have someone to catch you when you get knocked out and fall down. That's yeah. it. That's the only thing. You stand there and literally just Bruh. let someone slap you in the face with the palm of their hand. Just hit you in the head as hard as I can. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a great idea. Yeah, and they like wind up at the way. It's like it's all torque because so, you because you like twist your waist and like wow and pow. So, so I'm just like kind of concerned, like if there is any degree of like I don't know, like <laughs> success with the slap fighting thing that they might be like, all right, what else can we get away with that just you know what I want to see him do people throw endangering their lives throw wrestling in the U throw wrestlers in the UFC ring. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's let's watch Roman Reigns fight somebody for real. Yeah, and let's just give him knives. I'm down. Yeah. I told you I'm down for gladiator fight. You told me oh, I was inhumane. It is. It is inhumane. Well, I was looking up like the last public execution in America. When was it? I can't remember. I want to say 36, but it might be 1936. Yeah, yeah. I think it was 36. Okay, let me ask you a question. What's that? Downtown Austin, in front of the Capitol. They're, they're not gonna watch. They're gonna. Murder they're they're gonna hang a man. No. Who raped ch children? Okay. They're gonna murder him in front of everyone. Yeah. Do you go watch? No. Why would I want to see that? You know how many people do though. I mean, I guess. I look, man. I don't. Okay, I try, let me ask I try you not this. to subscribe to Schadenfreude, which is essentially like seeing bad things happen to bad people and being like, ha ha, this serves you right. It's that kind of feeling. I don't really, I don't suffer from that. What if they hurt your family? I mean. And they were like, they hurt your, they killed a family member of yours. And they were like, you can watch them die live. Uh, you going? Nah, probably not. I don't think still. I would go either. Like, oh, I don't, right. I'm not, I'm not into those sort of like death videos or like, I don't like watching videos of people getting hurt. I don't like any of that, man. Like, I don't care what you did. Like, I would much rather, honestly, dude, I think I get more satisfaction in someone like that rotting in jail forever than getting killed. Yeah. Cause then they have to like deal with what they did forever. Well, I don't know. I've ne also never had one of my, <laughs> my well, right. close loved ones murdered either. Thank God. Um, so I don't know how I would really react to it. But I will say is that me myself, I I don't I try not to subscribe to like seeing anybody experience any type of pain or anguish. So hopefully you stay away from me and mine because I might kill you myself. Yeah, I used I'm to, ready to go to jail. Yeah, I just I mean, used to watch Cou Couchman Pete box, and I like I mean like I would have like been very sad if he got hurt, Word. but like but he. He did well. It's it's very odd when you have a, a person that you know that boxes because it's like you look at him and they're like, he's like the nicest person in the world, and you're like you can just get in the ring and just turn it off and just be like I'm gonna hurt this guy. And you're just like yeah, you just like I have like to hurt this it, guy. it's hard for me to get so mad I want to hit someone. I couldn't imagine being like oh I got to go hit someone now like that's like, like just get in the ring and like got to fight now like yeah like like I've it, got to hit you until you fall over and not get up. That's and you're going to try to do the same thing to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah For no here. reason other than, like, they're paying us to do it. Bro. Or even in the amateurs, they're not paying paid at all. Yeah. Just for the clout. Yeah. Nah, I'm good. I don't know, man. I'm good. I, don't I can't know. be a pro boxer. No, I mean, I mean, full respect for everyone who can. I mean, I loved, I enjoyed going to watch watch Couchman Pete yeah, box. Yeah, yeah. It was good. Yeah, yeah. It was good stuff. I went and watched probably like ten of his fights. But I'm uh, I'm definitely not I'm not gonna be in a gladiatorial arena anytime soon. I'm not going to uh, I'm not gonna watch slap fighting. What about men and, versus uh, lions? I'm not gonna watch wrestling. What's what, that? What no. if it was what instead of being men versus men? What if it was like the men versus the lions with no, spears and see, shields? I don't I don't get down with bullfighting either, my man. I don't I don't like it. That's not fair though. What do you? Men, <laughs> Neither is a man versus a lion. Yeah, but the bull doesn't like. Either the, you make it fair, or you make it bad for the animal. Somebody's always going to come out on top when you start adding patch yeah, notes. Yeah, I feel like bullfighting. They get like a red flag and a sword, and like it's either like you get gored or like you shank him in the spine. Like that's not real fighting. Like I think they need to like wrestle a gorilla and be like, let's see what happens. You get brass knuckles. 
you, you fight a gorilla, go. Then you just lose. You just lose. Well, I mean. But if you like, you got to step it up. Okay, you give them a knife, you lose. Okay, well, let's step it up, make it a little bit more fair. They get a two shot gun. Then, they, then you probably win that one. No, because gorillas like can like take some stuff. You hey. gotta, you gotta one hit the shots. Two, what do you do? You shoot him in the knee. Two, you get a double barrel shotgun. No, you get no, you get like a, a like a handgun with two bullets. A handgun? With I thought two, you said a shotgun. No, no, a two bullet gun. Oh no, a you gun lose with two that. bullets. You lose that one every single time. But what, but if you get him in the head, he's dead. Uh, yeah, I guess. If I mean, you can shoot him in the knee, shot. and then he can't get around. <laughs> a gorilla's take. <laughs> Freaking nine millimeter a twenty two, <laughs> gorilla's taking a nine millimeter to the leg and and walking it off. On you, just, you just piss him off on adrenaline alone. <laughs> you ain't wrong. So all right, anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for joining us. Dancing. We out. Uh...